In 2015, University College Cork celebrated the bicentenary of its first professor of mathematics, George Boole. His appointment provided an opportunity for him to develop his most important work, an investigation of the laws of thought. Often described as the father of the information age, Boole's legacy surrounds us everywhere, especially here in University College Cork. It was in 1990 that Dr. Peter Flynn, UCC's Acting Director of Computing, became Ireland's first webmaster. There were a number of websites from very high-powered places like Slack, the Stanford Linear Accelerator, um, sites which had enormous quantities of equipment, huge numbers of highly skilled, specialised people who could do this kind of thing very, very quickly. Although Stanford's Slack website was the earliest known website in the United States, it was installed three months after University College Quirks. There was an organisation called RARE, the Réseau Associé pour la Recherche Européenne, who had been contracted by DG13 of the European Commission to decide what to do about a European network. The member for CERN on that committee was Tim Berners-Lee, so I got to know him there, and at one of the meetings in, I think, Zurich, he was talking to us uh, at coffee time about this new gizmo he'd been working on, and we said, oh, that looks interesting, and uh, he gave us a little demonstration of what it was doing, and we were very impressed. Simple in design, it was first used by researchers to host and display transcriptions of Irish historical and literary documents. The Curia project initially, of course, only had one page, and it had one document which was completed, which is the Ashling Angusa, uh, which is a poem, it's relatively short, it fits on one page, and so it was very easy to get that working. There was then a pause when we sort of disappeared from view because there were a lot of students working on a lot of Irish texts in parallel, so they weren't appearing every week there were about 20 texts being worked on in simultaneously, which meant that nothing happened for a long while and then suddenly they all came to fruition about the same time. So they started to appear. That developed then to a pattern of texts appearing on a, a relatively regular basis and people developing other web pages. I suppose pages would have been added at something at the rate of three to four a month for the first couple of years. With the launch of Ireland's first website, other national academic institutions soon followed. I think we were lucky in that we already had the equipment and the network connection and the skills using Unix to be able to do this, which weren't necessarily in the right places in the other institutions. At this point in time, UCC belonged to a tiny group of universities and research groups with websites on the World Wide Web. With a complete website revamp planned for 2017, one wonders what it will look like in five or ten years' time. In five years it probably won't look a lot different from what it looks like now. It'll have a different design, but it'll be basically the same shape and you'll be able to click on the same kinds of things. In ten years' time, we have no idea what the technology is going to be available if there is perhaps some kind of non-finger control. The web, apart from a few extra nice bits is largely the same now as it was in 1992. It's the same technology underneath it and you have a link and you go click. <laughs>